making a video of the GNU for sale. We will start off by starting the motor. So, Morgan, film this. Film me, film the motor. Anyway, thank you, Morgan. There's the motor. Go ahead, go. 15 horsepower, Johnson, Evan Rude. Usually starts one pull like that, maybe two. Depends on, you know, if you do the choke and the pump the bulb and everything right. Um, it's never let me down. All right, so I can go put it in reverse. See how it's spinning? I can give it a little gas. A little bit of gas. I'm not going to give it too much gas. Now while it's free spinning there. All right, we'll put it in back in neutral. Okay, now we'll put it in forward. And gas again, a little bit of gas. And by give it gas, back in neutral. I mean turning this handle here, you know what I mean? It's a kill switch in there. You put your finger in and you kill a kill switch. I guess I'll put the kill switch. Okay. Are we leave running for a minute? Uh, anyway, so this is... Uh, the jack plate, you're able to, you, while you're in the boat, in the water, you can pull this back and you can lower the motor straight down so that you can get deeper. Or it's all the way up right now to go in really shallow water. See how the prop is level with the boat, kind of. Also, right now you can see the, the strainer for the live well and also the sonar for the fish finder, depth finder thing. I made this plate in the back. Here, I'm going to turn the motor off. I made this plate in the back. It's a deck. It's made out of wood. It doesn't come on a canoe. I made it up. And it's a thing so you can stand back here and fish. One person can stand back here. Underneath is a... It's kind of a mess. But it's got, you know... It's where kind of little excess gas sometimes spills or water. It's got a bilge pump in there. And it's also got a, another bilge pump that connects to the external one for the live well. And there's an anchor. This has got the, the anchor light. It's adjustable up and down, right here. It's got this, uh, this thing is for the, you know, plug. You can also put a, you know, one of those stands back here where you stand up. It's got the four mounting holes for that. Pulling platform, I guess they call it. Here's the GPS, Garmin. You turn it on. It should come on here. Hopefully you can see it on the phone here. It's coming on. It's kind of dim. Let's put this phone, it's hard to see. Um, anyway, maybe when it comes up, it's saying Garmin right now, when it comes up, maybe we'll be able to see it better with, all right, I'm a bit bright out here with the sun and the phone. All right, here's the switch panel. It's got a little place down there. Um, all these stations have lights, see? Red and white lights, which can be wired separately. The wiring's already in and already down there, and the switch, I ganged them together because I had another switch panel that was breaking, so I just replaced it with this three switch, but you could actually get an eight switch panel and you can have all the different lights turn on and off at different times. I just started, you know, as my switches broke throughout the years, I kind of just bent gang them together and then I got a new little panel. These seats swivel. Also, these things come out and you can put a different seat or whatever. The seat comes off. Um, okay, here's the nav. Let me put the first one on is the anchor light. See, the LEDs on. I don't know if you can tell. And also, these are ganged together. See, these cool lights here, which I put in. They're all LEDs. They're very bright. And there, I put them in myself. Um, uh, let's see. There's uh, sonar is on now. You just can't see it with the phone to the screen. It just doesn't. I, I, you can't see it. But, all right. Anyway, so then the center light is the live well. You might be able to hear them. The live well. It also pumps at the same time to the bilge, which pumps into the water from the fresh from out there. And there's a light that comes on for nighttime. Um, then you also have the third switch, which is the interior lighting. See all the LEDs coming on there? See them coming on? See, so at night you can fish. Um, these are padded. I built these, you know. But look, see, it's like, you know, I did it myself, so it's got some staples, but you can sit on them. You can take them off and put the plates back on that I had to sit on here and have no cushion. It's up to you, you know. I mean, it's just something I did, and I like it, and I use it. So it doesn't look the greatest, but it's, it's a fishing boat. It's a utility boat, 
and that's what I use it for. Um, all right, the trail is pretty good. It's got like this, these things I put on them for the guides. So the boat guides, so you can see the boat when backing up. These smaller boats are hard to see, but that's why I put them there. Plus the LED lights, nice wheels. This trailer's in pretty good shape. Um, what else? I made this front deck out of wood. This is a storage bin over here on this side. This front deck's out of wood. Now you can take it out if you want, but it's in there. Take it out, pull a couple screws, and it pops out. Otherwise, it stays in. You can stand on it, and you're able to fish on it. It's really nice. You can take this seat out and have a whole big deck, and you can have a person sit here, your second person, if you want. Or if you're by yourself, you can just take a seat out and do that. Just a storage area under there. Plus, there's some storage patches. I'd recommend rewiring this a little bit because I kind of need to make the wiring go, you know, a little bit longer wiring. So you have storage here too because right now the storage is kind of messed up because I have it, you know, wired junkily. Uh, here's the trolling motor. Shoot, do I have the... Yeah, okay, here's a trolling motor. It comes with two remotes. So here's one of them. The battery's dead in the other one. Uh, I guess I could probably replace it before anybody gets over here to look at it, but... You know, I can turn it on, I can give it gas, like, see that? Or down. It also goes left and right. It's not gonna go a lot now because it's all locked in, this little thing right here. But you can see it turn. Um, I don't know, uh, it's got, here's the thing there and all that, and it's got this, uh, Put pin anchor, which I like, Pull, you know, push, push anchor, pin anchor, plus it had the regular anchor. So That's about it, man. You know, I'm not good at making these videos. Um, that's it. So, like you see, look, it's dirty. Uh, it's scratched. Okay. I mean, I use this boat all the time, almost, I mean, on the weekends, twice a day, you know, and it's been used a hundred times, I mean, a thousand times, you know, and then I got it used and I rebuilt the whole thing and it was a piece of junk when I got it. So it's not a pretty, you know, looks great in pictures, but, you know, uh, you know, if you drive all the way here from Fort Myers, it's going to have grease, has grease, you know, stains on the seat that's probably going to be cleaned off and on the motor. So, you know, whatever. I mean, if you don't come over here expecting to see like some pristine boat. This is a utility boat. It's a fishing boat. I go on the flats, I catch a lot of fish. So I'm just letting you know. So, I mean, the boat, ha it, when I bought this boat, okay, it was all camouflaged. It had a hole in it, okay? It had a hole down here. I fixed the hole. See, I redid all the fiberglass on the entire bottom of the boat, actually, just to patch that hole. I put four layers of fiberglass there. Oh, I paid $1,800 with a hole in it, okay? And, and no trailer, and a junky nine horsepower motor that didn't work, and a junky trolling motor. These seats weren't cushioned, and it wasn't painted. Like I said, there was no GPS on the thing. There was no wiring, there was no lights. No navigate, no LED national navigation lights. So I'm asking $2,900, and that's negotiable, but like I said, you know, this is a, a fishing boat, so that's why I kind of recommend you don't come all the way over here from Fort Myers, but if you want to, this is a good, honest, you know, look at it, see? There's leaves in it, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's up to you. Like, for me, yeah, I'd come buy it. I bought it as a piece of junk and totally restored it, but, you know, like I said, I've already had a couple people show up, and, you know, from local, and they were like, Expecting to see some pristine boat and it's just not you know they take home to their wife and they're like well my wife ain't like well That's good. You know, this is not for your wife This is a uh, you know fishing boat. So I'll turn GPS off And uh, all right, that's an honest video man So if you're crazy enough to still come over here, then you know it's on you later